Good morning. Uh, I'm up early before work, so I'm going to try to do this now. Um, I'm a Christian. Uh, I believe in Jesus, and I'm going to just talk about that for a little bit. Um, I grew up in a broken home uh, with a lot of dysfunction and uh, family members um, who, well, I mean, there's no easy way to say it, but sexual predators. Um, you had a, a generational thing, um, you know, so you have a, a patriarchy who's, you know, messing up his kids, uh, you know, and then you have an uncle who's, who's modeling that behavior and then you have, uh, you know, people in your generation who are victims, and, and it was a mess. Uh, there's also a lot of uh, physical abuse and, and anger and all that stuff. So, I did not have the, the worst childhood, but uh, I definitely did not have a functioning one or, or one that I would uh, wish on, you know, anyone. But... I also grew up, um, you know, being taken to church, going to Sunday school, uh, going to Awanas, which is, if, you, if you're not familiar with Awanas, it's like um, co-ed Boy Scouts with uh, Bible memory and then a lot of games and tug-of-war and stuff. I always, I always liked the tug-of-war. I was very good at the tug-of-war. And... Um, you know, so that's kind of where I learned the Bible and all that stuff. Um, when I got into high school and started working my, my first jobs, um, I got exposed to alcohol and, uh, drugs, mostly marijuana and, um, and I took to that like a duck to water. Um, and I started living like a duality where I was one person with, you know, this set of people and then another person on Sunday morning. And um, fortunately for me, I can't do that. Uh, something... Uh, you know, it, for, for myself, I think some people just, that's just their reality for me. Um, after not too long of that, I was miserable and contemplating suicide. And so my sophomore year, maybe beginning of junior year, it's all a little fuzzy. I did mention the marijuana. Um, but basically, I uh, kind of gave the Lord an ultimatum and said, uh, I'm, before I take my life, uh, I'm just going to give you like six months. And if you're there, uh, go ahead and do whatever you want. But if nothing changes uh, in, you know, in, in six months, I'm going to just come back to this, you know, like suicide plan. And over the next six months, um, let's see, I got caught, I got arrested. I did, uh, 25 weekends in jail. Um, I got sick. Uh, um, I got ulcers in my stomach and I lost two thirds of my red blood cells, like over maybe 10 days. Um, I had uh, friends, um, like the main guys that I uh, got high with. Um, they were in, a, they got T-boned. They pulled out in front of a truck and uh, they were both uh, laid up in the hospital. The one was in a, in a coma and basically had to relearn to walk. The other one uh, had his jaw wired shut. Um, and everything that I took for granted, uh, everything that, 
um, I, I was just kind of going for through the motions of, um, all of a sudden was, was, uh, was taken away and, you know, I couldn't go to church because I'm sitting in a, in a jail cell, uh, on the weekends, uh, and then going back to high school and kind of everybody's like, Hey, how was jail? I was like, Oh, it was great. Uh, the food's terrible. But, um, uh, it's what I needed at that time to see that, um, that God was, was real and, and, and he heard me. And, um, so anyways, um, it led to, uh, just a deeper, uh, more genuine commitment on my part, uh, where I started to get excited about things and, and, uh, and I went to Mexico and the Dominican Republic didn't hurt that I was uh, 20 or in my early 20s and had lots of energy and enthusiasm. Um, and I had a, um, a period of sobriety that lasted a while. There was a couple of lost weekends, a couple of, uh, you know, runs to the bar during that time. But it was a period of sobriety. And, uh, so I went out to Oregon in 2001, 2002, and, uh, and I went out there to go to Bible school and, um, hurt myself, uh, got high because thrown out my back and led to a, like a 10 year run of, uh, mostly smoking pot some drinking, some other stuff. And, um, took longer this time. Um, I guess I wasn't living a double life, uh, like I was before in that if anybody asked me point, point blank, I just tell them like, yeah, yeah, I smoke pot, you know, didn't matter. Uh, I, I wasn't going around telling everybody, but, um, I just wasn't, two-faced about it like I was when I was a kid but anyways um so at some point you you start to grow out of that you start to see the the old guys hanging out uh you know and and I just didn't want to be uh you know as I got in my 30s uh, I just didn't want to be one of the, the old guys still hanging out, still partying. And so I decided to quit. And then um, I didn't quit. And that really bothered me. I had made up my mind to do something and wasn't able to do it myself. And so I was in a, uh, a men's prayer meeting and... I am one of those guys who, you know, when they say, do you, anything we can pray for for you? I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm good, you know. But uh, this one time, um, you know, I said, hey, uh, I got a prayer request. And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, I just want to quit everything all at once. And they're like, what do you mean everything? I'm like, uh, internet porn, cigarettes, alcohol, pot. I just want... I just want to stop everything cold turkey all at once. And, uh, and so we prayed about it and a week, maybe later I am in teen challenge, which is a terrible name. Uh, it started out with teenagers. Uh, you can look it up. It's a whole crazy story with this Dave Wilkinson guy. But, uh, so I end up in teen challenge and, Gosh dang it, I quit uh, alcohol, drugs, cigarettes, uh, I, I quit it all like that. And um, the big thing when I was uh, doing, doing you know, Christian rehab, uh, which is, I, I always called uh, voluntary incarceration, um, 
what I came to realize and, and what I worked, what, what God took me through was all the crap that happened to me and uh, my siblings and my cousins, all that uh, dysfunction and abuse that, that I was raised in. Um, and then other things that, that just happened through, through my life, you know, people in the church hurt you or rip you off or, you know, uh, I had a, I had bitterness. I had unforgiveness in my heart and, and, uh, and so I'm sitting on all this pain, all this anger and, uh, my way of dealing with that, my way of bottling it is with marijuana and a little bit of alcohol and nicotine. And so it's a, it is, I'm not saying that people cannot forgive, uh, but it is a divine thing to forgive and uh and anyways so that was my breakthrough is the the unforgiveness that I was hanging on to um so I think I'm coming up on nine years of sobriety um the movie that came out uh when I went into the program uh, and I didn't get to see it in the theaters, was Guardians of the Galaxy. So anytime uh, I need to figure out how long I've been sober, I, I look up Guardians of the Galaxy on IMDb and do the math. Anyways, I'm a bass player. I can't, I can't count past four, okay? So anyways, um, let's see. So then um, as far as what... Uh, what I believe, what my theology is. Um, one, if I get into that, you're, you're never going to make anybody happy. And there's so much, uh, dissension is dissension, the word and, and just, you know, people get on the internet and all they want to do is, uh, is fight. Okay. So, so here's my thing. Uh, I believe in Jesus. I believe he was born from a, from a virgin. I believe that the, the whole Old Testament is the, the story of his, his coming. Um, I believe that he taught and he healed, uh, that he was crucified, rose again, uh, ascended, and, and is returning. I think, the, I think we're seeing the world uh, go to hell and and we know that it's just going to get worse and worse um i like stephen king and uh you know if you ever read the the stand you know and all that stuff uh the 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 darkness and the capacity for evil in humankind is is there i'm not saying stephen king is a prophet I'm just saying, uh, you know, there, there's, uh, he's a mirror. He's a reflection of just what we're, we're capable of. Also, I've read a couple biographies on Hitler. Uh, human beings are little monsters. And it is a miracle that, that God loves us and he's made a way for us to be saved. Um, beyond that, uh, if you want to get into, uh, defining the inerrancy of scripture and, and what do you need to take literally and what do you need to take figuratively? I'm not your guy. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm okay just saying, I don't know. Uh, if you want to talk about uh, demigods and giants 
and aliens and, and Bigfoots. Uh, I got some opinions about that stuff. But um, none of that is supersedes or in any way is uh, important to me um, a, as much as just knowing that uh, Jesus loves you and, and he's returning and, um, and that God's made a way. So there you go.